So what does it mean to not self-disrupt in the leadership development space? Yeah, so I think so. I, I think to me, um, the reason why we did all this very rich upfront setup is because coming to the point and the, and the way you laid it out is the, is, is the three questions you've, you've basically asked is that, you know, what is the risk of not connecting leader growth to business growth? Now, if folks have been tuning into Rejuvi 45 sessions till date, you know, there's a lot of background rich conversations we've had about what the premise of what we bring to the table is and how we believe that the leadership development space needs to be disrupted or has to be disrupted, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, we, we treat leadership development in kind of, you know, in its own silo of leader and leader alone, never really putting it in the context of the business. And if we do talk about the business development on, on the other end of it, we put it in its own context, never in the context of the leader, right? So, so making the case here is that, frankly, to me, I think the analogies are very, very straightforward, um, is if we don't make the connection between the fact that the leader and coaching the leader is, 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 is in, you know, it's explicitly, uh, uh, you know, connected to business development and business growth, understanding how that connection happens, understanding how to address it. You know, if, if we don't do this, I think the leadership development industry is heading the way of Pan Am. Okay. Um, the, the, the leadership development industry is not going to have a Netflix moment uh, because we have to understand that we need to be in the mindset of the dominoes of the world, the category I'm talking about, um, and the Netflixes of the world, that we need to take a long, hard look in the mirror, right? And we need to revisit the fundamental principles by which we run this industry in this category. Because we continue to keep these two things separate, which to me, like I said, is no different than what Pan Am was doing when they placed the bet on the 747 jetliners without understanding the broader context of what's coming. So here's what happens if we don't make that connection, Rob, very simply, we decline uh, in credibility. So our currency, right, that we bring forward as experts to drive business growth, leadership development, growth, right? We, we lose our credibility because we will continue to have a, a, a what do you call that? A non-effective conversation about how you can predictably, prescriptively drive business growth, right? If we don't connect the two. So the credibility within the industry declines. And I think that, you know, we, 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 will, we will just be unable to measure in explicit ways of if you move the leader or if you move the needle on leader development, how does that tie to movement and business outcomes? We will never be able to A, make that connection, even, even, you know, even what do you call that, even observe and agree or acknowledge that it exists, we'll never be able to measure it, right? right. And if we're not able to measure it, um, frankly, we can never get to the prescriptive, predictive world where we can actually say, hey, you know what, leader investment is this, um, that drives business practices as such, and these business practices drive these business outcomes in a very you know, in a very uh, intentional way.